One thing about packing depressed me a little. I had to pack these brand new ice skates my mother had practically just sent me a couple of days before that depressed me. I could see my mother going in Spalding's and asking the salesman a million dopey questions. And here I was getting the ax again. It made me feel pretty sad. She bought me the wrong kind of skates. I wanted racing skates. She bought hockey. But it made me sad anyway. Almost every time somebody gives me a present, it ends up making me sad. After I got all packed, I sort of counted my dough. I don't remember exactly how much I had, but I was pretty loaded. My grandmother just sent me a wad about a week before. I have this grandmother that's quite lavish with her dough. She doesn't have all her marbles anymore. She's old as hell, and she keeps sending me money for my birthday about four times a year. Anyway, even though I was pretty loaded, I figured I could always use a few extra bucks. You never know. So what I did was I went down the hall and woke up Frederick Woodruff, this guy I'd lent my typewriter to. I asked him how much he'd give me for it. He was a pretty wealthy guy. He said he didn't know. He said he didn't much want to buy it. Finally he bought it though. It cost about 90 bucks and all he bought it for was 20. He was sore because I'd woke him up. When I was all set to go, when I had my bags and all, I stood for a while next to the stairs and took a last look down the goddamn corridor. I was sort of crying. I don't know why. I put my red hunting hat on and turned the peak around to the back the way I liked it. Then I yelled at the top of my goddamn voice, Sleep tight, you morons. I'll bet I woke up every bastard on the whole floor. Then I got the hell out. Some stupid guy had thrown peanut shells all over the stairs. I damn near broke my crazy neck.